This video shows the principal geoprocessing interactions for the Amazon Drought scenario. What you see here is the architecture which is composed of a client provided by Pixis, the WCS provided by EOX serving ESA data, and the WCS provided by Rasterman serving NASA data. Also, there are a couple of WPSs here calculating drought areas and a WPS wrapping a WCPS provided by Rasterman calculating precipitation data to validate the drought areas. So, how does a principal interaction look like? At first, a user selects and requests data either from a WCS here or WCS here. With this data loaded into the Pixels client, the first WPS is called. This WPS from 50 to North is responsible for orchestrating in an opaque way a workflow which calculates drought areas. So this WPS here requests the first WPS in the workflow. This one fetches at first the data which is given by reference either from, from the WCS here or from the Rasterman WCS. Next it actually calculates aggregated data based on the inputs. The inputs are time series and Earth observation data over different years and they are aggregated by using the GRASS open source geoprocessing tool. The results are served back to the orchestration WPS which then calls the second WPS which uses the outputs from the first one, fetches them by reference and does a Z transformation, a normalization by using GDAL. Some statistical parameters like standard deviation are calculated. The results are fed back to the orchestration WPS and the third WPS is called which also fetches the data from the previous one and does some masking on potential drought areas by using GDAL. The results are served back and then stored in a WCS and then the WCS URL and the coverage name is served back to the Pixels client which fetches it and displays it to the user. This was the first step, potential drought areas. The second step is to validate them with precipitation data. For this reason a WPS is called which is wrapping a WCPS so a WCPS query is fed in and it uses data which is already stored on this setup here, so no external data is used. Based on a formula given by NASA, precipitation uh, data is calculated and served back. So we have two outputs, drought analysis and precipitation data. This data is then overlaid in a client for visual analysis by the user. 